evaluate what is the value what the evaluation of the determination and they have to given the one determination 1 2 4 minus 1 3 0 4 1 0 so don't find out that cofactor minor and r so simple idea i will given that solution So 1, 2, 4, minus 1, 3, 0, 4, 1, 0. This is plus, minus, plus. We can write like this. This is a short, shortest way. So 1, first one is plus 1. So I can remove this row and column. So product of this 0, 3, 0 is 0, minus 1, 0 is 0. Next term is minus 2. So I can remove this row and column, 0 and 0, 0 minus 0. The last one is plus 4. Plus 4 means I can remove this row and this column. So what is the product? 1 into minus 1 is minus 1, minus of 4 threes are 12. So therefore 1 into 0, minus 2 into 0, plus 4 into minus 13. So therefore 0 minus 0, 12 balance 1, 52 minus. So remaining 0 minus 52, it is equal to minus 52. This is the value of the determination. So okay. Next I want to share something about the determinants. In case you have to choose that one determinant, if any two row and two columns are equal for the one determinant means, the value of the determinants it is going to be 0. So I will give you another example. In case I want to take in the determinants A. A means 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 means these two rows are equal, identical means the value of the determinant it is going to be 0. So this is a property of the determinants. So I can uh, given that a uh, lot of uh, properties for the determinants. And next one is you can interchange any two row and any two row or column. That means this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 1, 2, 3. I can this change these two rows. Therefore, the value cannot be changed. The value of the determinant is going to be 0, means it is always going to be 0. Not only by this determinant, you can choose any two determinants 2, 4, 7, 7, 8, 9, 8, 6, 7. The value of the determinants, you can change any two row or any two column. 7, 8, 9, 2, 4, 7, 8, 6, 7. So that means I can change this two row alone. This is always same value. What the value has getting from these determinants. Because you have to change any two row, two column. The value cannot be changed. The value cannot be changed. This is the one of the properties of the determinants. Then another one is. If the any two row or column is proportional means it is always the determinant's value is going to be zero. This is an important thing. You can change sir. I will change the all the row and all the columns sir. You know that means the changes only happen by the sign alone. Sign alone. So this is a very important thing for the matrix and determinants. Matrix and determinants. They have to given that another one question. So we should understand what is determinant and what is matrix and another one thing is the matrix cannot be split but the determinants we should split the determinants how can it is possible sir so if i will write a plus b c plus d d plus a 1 2 3 4 5 6 means i can split a 1 4 c 2 5 and d 3 6 plus because we should have plus symbol b 1 4 and D to 5 and A 3 6. So this is an another one property should have a, a determinants. So this all the things we should have a book. So therefore you just learn the book when the page number of 8. So you can learn the book. What are the properties as given in the book? You can learn it. You can thorough it. Next we should enter the next example question. Show that x, y is a 2x, 2a, 2y, 2b, 2x, 2z plus 2c, a, b, c, it is equal to 0. So, we just to find out that the value of the determinants, it is going to be 0. So, first I will write down the solution. So, 
So I have one simple idea. I want to split these two determination. So x, 2x, a, and y, 2y, and b, az, 2az, and c. Plus x, 2a, a, y, 2b, b, az, 2c, and c. So see that it is one of the properties of the determinants. So if you want to another one given another one property is if you multiply any one of the constant from this determinants. In case I will multiply by two, two mean two from the all the element of the determinants means the value should multiply by two. This is a one of the one mark question. So they have to ask the question. So a equal to two four six eight. It is equal to sixty four. Sixteen minus otherwise sixteen minus sixteen minus twenty four. It is equal to minus eight. So what is the value of a b that is equal to? I can multiply by the term of two four eight twelve sixteen means you can multiply by two alone from this number. So this is one of the property. So what is the property? If they have to give any one of the determination value. If each and every value should be multiplied by the same scalar constant, scalar value means the value it is always multiplied by the scalar. It is always one of the example you can multiply this one six four zero sixty four and the minus what is it seventy two six four zero six sixteen four zero sixty four minus sixteen balance one ninety six. You can subtract. You got the value of. What the value they have to give? It can multiply by minus two. This is always one of the property. So you can go through the book first. Then next you have to learn the properties of the determinants. So see that I will take out that constant from the determination second row two. So there is a remaining is x x a y y b and z z c. That is always happen from these matrices also, determinants also. I want to take out the two from the second row x y e z a a a b c c. See that these two rows are identical. These two rows are identical. Therefore, the value is zero. Two into zero. So therefore, zero plus zero it is equal to zero. Hence, it is in proof. Hence. Proof. So this is called that the value of determination. It is going to be zero. And next one is your value rate of the determinants. X x plus one, x minus one, and x. X x plus one, x minus one, and x. So first you can multiply for these two term. X in t x is x square minus. You can multiply for these two term. This is the method of To find out the value of determination, so our x square minus a plus b and a minus b. We should know that a plus b and a minus b. This is equal to a square minus b square. So therefore, x square minus one into one is one squared is one. So x square minus x square plus one cancel these two term one. One is the answer of the determination x x plus one x minus one and x.